Hello out there, this is DZ, your overlord Deseran, and welcome back to the 25th Ward, The Silver Case. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, <clears throat> we are heading into matchmaker number four, The Lunar Orbit. So basically, despite the fact we've moved into, after correctness, we've moved into transmitter here, which says digital man, we're still on matchmaker here. We're going to try finishing number four and see if that opens up a new segment, a new section. And if it does... Then I'm going to go back over to Placebo and do one more with Morishima. Because I'm starting to forget the names of the regular guys. In, uh... In the, uh... HC unit. Either way, let's check out the Lunar Orbit. <clears throat> what the hell? Excuse me. Okay. Who's out of breath? Oh, Suki. Sorry I'm late. Okiai Sumi Office. Wait, Okiai Gumi? Ishiki. Took you long enough, Suki. Sorry, boss. But it's snowing like a bastard outside. I could barely move. Fucking idiot. You need more strength. Strength! It's all that Ma Blanc bullshit. Eating crap like that all the time, no wonder you're so weak. Like a weak little snowflake. I'm sorry. So, how was it? They'd cleared out. Just as Shigino said. Even the Amihama Syndicate, huh? Looks like we're the only Syndicate left. So what are we going to do now? Same as always. We're not like other Syndicates. We've been here doing our thing since the beginning. We can't just say, oh, okay, and up and disappear, just because the government says so. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> and the big man is old and weary, too. We need to support him and protect the Syndicate. Right? Yes. Okay. Now then. Shigino should be here soon. Huh. Boss, what sort of meeting is this today? No idea. All I've heard is that Shigino wants to talk to the top guys. Shigino's as mysterious as always, huh? Really. I really just can't stand that asshole. I can't understand why the big man would bring some dick like that on as an advisor. Shigino has a different aura about him than everyone else. Yeah, he creeps me out. The look in his eyes. Who creeps you out? Oh, hello. Hm. Nobody. I see. So is everyone here? They're waiting for your ass in the back. Okay, why don't we start then, Ishiki? Uh-huh. Hey, Suki. Yes. This is no time to be lying around eating Mont Blanc. Eat some rice crackers or something. The really hard ones. Understood. Okay. <clears throat> rice crackers. Is that supposed to toughen me up? Oh. Guess I just have to wait till the meeting's over. Maybe I'll have some of them rice crackers.
Huh. Can we move? Damn, it's snowing even harder. What is this? The North Pole? I guess we're just waiting. Damn, the heater is really warming this place up. I'm getting so sleepy. Shit, it's too late. I'm gonna fall asleep. Ishiki's gonna be pissed. Pissed. The fuck are you doing? I'm sorry. Sorry. I don't know how it happened. I was just about to eat those rice crackers. Huh? Ishiki's voice is coming from the back. How am I supposed to accept that? You son of a bitch! Hey, Suki. Y y yes We're going. Get the car. Okay. Fucking Shigino. Okay. Club Marine Blue. Owner. Oh, Ishiki. You're pretty early today. Yeah. Suki-san, come on in. Hello. What's the matter? You both look so gloomy today. Kinda. Give me a bottle. Okay. What the hell is happening? Suki. Yes? How long's it been since you joined up with us? This is my fourth year. I see. It's already been four years, huh? When we first met, you were just a hot-headed little scrapper. But you've come a long way since then. Thank you. Back then, you were just a punk who'd lash out randomly at whoever. You even picked a fight with me once. And you beat the shit out of me. But once you took me in, I found, like, meaning in life, I guess you could say. Anyway, you really made a difference for me. <coughs> meaning in life of a gangster, huh? It's a pretty hard knock existence, huh? Well... <laughs> Suki. Yes? This whole area is about to become the 25th Ward. Yeah. The town is changing really fast. The times are changing, I guess. The ups and downs are pretty rough, you know? Smaller syndicates like ours get tossed around a lot. But... Whatever may change, however we may move, and however tough it may get, we will protect the Okii Syndicate crest. I owe a hell of a lot to the big man. I'll protect him no matter what I have to do. That's what I do. Yes. You can go home for today. Huh? No, but... It's okay. Just go. Suki-san, it looks like the snow has stopped, and Ishiki-san is telling you to go. So I'll take it from here. Okay? Okay. I'll be going, then. So the big man. His health isn't doing so well? Yeah. He isn't gonna be dying anytime soon, but he's been confined to bed recently. Did you hear about Amihama? Yes. Apparently they've split up. It's not just Amihama. Lots of guys who've planted their roots here and have been working for years. They've been getting scooped up by the government and disappearing left and right. Looks like guys like us are just in the way in the 25th Ward. God, excuse me. <clears throat> Doing away with everything like that. I don't think that's the way to go. Shigino? You talk too much. No way in hell I'm going to agree to. What? Okay. Let's hear what you have to say. In 20 minutes? 
Okay. You have to be somewhere? Yeah, I'm off. You look troubled. Are you okay? I'm always like this. <clears throat> I'll come again. Everything is getting crazier and crazier. The town, the people. I wonder if it can even be stopped at this point. Huh. Okiai Gumi office. Okay. Oh, hi. Hey. Hey, Suki. Hello. I was just looking for you. I need you to do me a favor. Uh, oh. Uh, but... It's fine. Go. You're the only one here to do it. Okay, I understand. It's nothing big. It won't take much time. You know our syndicate's warehouse down by the bay, right? Go put this package there. Okay. What's in it? None of your damn business. S sorry Just messing with you. It's a joke. You really think I'd get that mad? It's nothing important inside. Just some designer bag I took as payment for a debt. It'll get in the way if I leave it at the office, so I thought I'd stick it in the warehouse. Take it there for me. Oh, okay. I'll be back. What the hell? Heidi. Suki is on his way there now. How's it going? You ready? Wait, Heidi? Let's see. Okay, get it done, right? Get it done right. So that's what's going on, Ishiki. Anyway, let's just wait for the results. He'll play the part for us nicely. He'll do us right. Heidi? Who the hell is Heidi? Is that the name of the translator? I don't remember. Okay. Here it is. Let's get this over with. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've been to the warehouse. Ah, oh, okay. Eh. Huh? I forgot the key. Damn it! They're gonna get pissed if I go back for it. Uh, shit. Oh yeah, the key panel. There it is. I can just enter the pin number here to open it. Awesome. That was close. What? What was the number again? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. The number was four digits. Damn it, I'm getting flustered and can't remember it. Didn't I write it down on a memo somewhere? Memo. Memo? Oh yeah! I wrote it in a memo and in a memo in my phone. Is this it? 59 October. A date? This isn't a number. Ah, uh, I get it. Yeah, I do too. Five, nine, one, zero. 
for October. <coughs> yes! That took some time. I need to drop this stuff off and hurry back. This is pretty heavy for a handbag. You're late. You alone? Who the hell are you? Hey now, what's this who the hell business? You're Suki, right? How the fuck do you know my name, huh? What the hell are you talking about? Your boss told you to come here, right? For the deal? The deal? Hey, 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 hold up, hold up. You came not knowing anything? I'm here for the dope. The dope? The fuck kind of bullshit are you spewing anyway? My syndicate doesn't deal with shit like dope. What? You guys were the ones who contacted me. What? Huh? What's in the box? A handbag? Really? That's what I was told. Did you check inside? How about you open that up for me? I got no reason to open this thing on your orders. I'm sick of your bullshit. Open the goddamn box or you're gonna see blood. Bring it. I'd like to see you try. Freeze! Shinkai Suki of the Okiai Syndicate. And that's Junji Isoguchi over there, right? This is the police. The cops? Hey, what the hell is this? I don't know. Don't move. I'm gonna check out that box you got there. What the hell is happening? Wow. This is just chock full of shit, isn't it now? <clears throat> what? What? What the hell is this? The test checks out. It's definitely the real thing. Nice. Everyone here is under arrest for violation of the Narcotic Narcotics Drug Control Act. Secure them all. Suki, hey, what the fuck? I, I have no idea. How should I... I don't know what the hell this is. Don't resist. Hold him down. Why? How did this happen? Fuck! I'm not... just gonna... get pinched... and go quietly. Shit. So, you were arrested? Yeah, they dragged my ass in. You got totally screwed over, huh, Suki-san? Yep. Totally. I have a question. What? What actually happens if you drop the soap? I'll leave that to your imagination. What the hell? Okay, so we understand a bit of his connection to the Okii Syndicate. <clears throat> so, what happened after that? You want to keep talking? I'm sleepy as hell. Come on. I did just save you back there, didn't I? I shouldn't put it this way, but I'm kinda your savior, right? So, you know, please go on. Yeah, okay, fine. Well, after getting pinched, I was totally dumbfounded. 
On top of the fact that Shigino set me up, Ishiki must have known about Shigino's plan. He was acting kind of strange that day. And he and Shigino hated each other, but he seemed totally fine with Shigino sending me to the warehouse and all. Anyway, I have no idea why, but I was basically screwed by Ishiki too. That was the worst part. But getting arrested turned out to be sort of a blessing, since that sent the OKI Syndicate over the edge to split up, right? Yeah. Both for that Shigino guy and that Ishiki guy, it brought them nothing but negative results, right? So, I don't get why they set you up. I have no idea either. But I heard later on, apparently Isoguchi had a dope hookup, and Shigino was after that. The Syndicate's financial situation was pretty dire back then. Because of the government getting involved, they were losing power in their own territory. They were basically one step away from going under completely. So, and this is just an assumption, but... I'm pretty sure Shigino said something about making money off the Syndicate's vault, or whatever, and convinced Ishiki and the higher-ups to go along with it. An assumption, huh? To think that Ishiki needed money so badly he'd get involved with drugs. No, he only ever thought about protecting the Syndicate. He may not have had any other options. So what happened after that? Huh? Oh. I was taken in by a guy named Daigo Natsume. I joined a certain military unit. Wait, Natsume? It was called Republic. Ah, I know Republic. They're like the special forces of the public safety department, right? I heard they were established to go up against the HC unit. Ah. Maybe that's why... There was no use arguing about it, so I joined up. I had no choice. But I'm grateful. I was just an empty shell of a man, and Republic pretty much brought me back to life. That's really good. Hinomata, Sakamoto, also... Huh? Who was it? That quiet guy. He was kind of like a chinchilla. <laughs> what the fuck? You son of a bitch! Chinchilla? Never mind. Whatever. Anyway, I trained with three other guys. But... Yeah? I ended up getting hurt really badly due to a screw-up in training. I had to temporarily leave the unit. Ouch. And while I was in rehabilitation, you know about the incident in the woods, right? When they tried to capture Kamoi. Yeah. And Republic ended up getting fucked up. My connection with Kamoi stems from that. No wonder. Suki-san always gave off a different vibe when talking about Kamoi. Again, I felt totally displaced. I had nowhere to go. That's when he reached out to me. You mean Chief Kiryu? Of course. So that's what happened. Everyone has their own history, huh? Is that enough, then? What? Can I sleep now? Oh yeah, sorry. And thanks. Go ahead and sleep. Yeah, thanks. But... What the hell? We're almost there. Not sleeping is part of the job, I guess. Yeah. What the hell do you mean, yeah? Christ. But Shigino... Ishiki... I made a promise to the chief... to kill the past. But, I, I wasn't able to kill it all the way. Okay, what the hell's going on now? Excuse me. Oh, the chief. I 
I got Nongo's report. <clears throat> I see. I see. I had considered the possibility that we might have a leak, but I had assumed it would be someone from a peripheral agency, not our own bureau. I underestimated the situation. Sorry. It's not your fault. It was us who were in the field together with S Sasatani. We weren't able to work out what he was actually doing. Our responsibility in the matter is much greater than yours. We're going to follow up on this investigation here. Okay. Also, regarding the remnants of the Okii Syndicate. You said you would kill your past, but somehow you always had the shadow of days long gone over you. And now, that past has come back to life. Yeah. Suki, look hard and carefully at that past. Once you've got it clearly in your sights, erase it. Understood. Okay then. It's time for your next job. Tokyo Morishima. That's his name, right? He's a reporter by trade. According to the materials received from our intel analysis guys, he's got quite the investigating... He's got quite the interesting resume. Why was he marked for adjustment? Apparently he's been snooping around our affairs. It's become somewhat problematic. He's got a really sharp head on his shoulders, this guy. I see. Ichigaya is currently assembling a team and marking the target. Leave that up to Ichigaya for today. Get on it tomorrow. Got it. But. But. There's more. <clears throat> oh. More? Somehow I get the feeling you're not going to be able to take down Morishima. Hey. Hi, Ichi. Hi, Ichigaya. How's it going? Suki-san, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm mobile enough. I see. In that case, good luck taking over. Yeah, thanks. The target left home last night. He came back home after walking around the ward red light district. He didn't seem to exhibit any suspicious behavior. By home, you mean that boat, right? Yeah. You're gonna say you want to live there, aren't you? Oh no, the opposite, actually. I can't stand boats. I get seasick. Oh, do you now? Suki-san, are you thinking about something naughty? May I continue? Oh, yeah, sorry. Please go on. Anyway, he left again just a moment ago. It looks like he went out to buy groceries. He hasn't returned yet. I see. Okay, I'll take it from here. Thank you. Good work. <coughs> Alright then. Let's go check out the target's house before he gets back. Uh, I don't feel so good. Don't worry. Judging by its looks, it shouldn't rock too much. As long as I don't rock it, obviously. Oh, come on, please. Come on, we're going. Damn. <clears throat> hmm. This is pretty passable for a boat. Ah, uh, Suki-san, look! A turtle! A turtle! Can I try and poke it? You can play with the turtle later. Okay. Damn, I really want to try and touch that turtle. Oh, dear God. Okay, I'm going to call it an episode here. So, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below, and check out links in the description for the 25th Ward, The Silver Case on Steam, although this is the PS4 version that I'm playing. 
And well, in the next part, I guess we'll see what is going to happen between the RA Bureau and Morishima. Until then, though, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>